So I had 64 slides to show you in three minutes, but unfortunately, I don't have. Fortunately, I don't have a fixed mindset, and because the technology is not working, I'm not worried. Um, so I am here to talk about the spirals of inquiry uh, with regards to goal setting. So our staff last year recognized that if we were going to embrace the curriculum redesign, we needed really to look at the way that we assess kids and we communicate that with our parents and our stakeholders. As a school then, we decided to adopt option one and through some quick committee work and heavily relying on the hard work of our colleagues to the south in BC, we developed some criteria, some exemplars, samples, timelines to communicate progress to our parents. The big idea is that we wanted to put the learning and the kids at the center. Uh, we recognize and understand the individual differences, we have to stretch and place the learner as the vital player in assessment. Our timelines include informal meetings with parents, goal setting conferences, interim report cards, three-way conferences, portfolios, learning celebrations, and the summative reports. Now I can honestly say the goal setting was the most novel. We've done all the rest in some aspect through time. Goal setting is novel, it's unique, and it's the point that stretched, dare I say, panicked everyone. Now, if we want students to be flexible learners with personalized learning, they need to understand where they are and where they're going. So, we know that research, research suggests that goal setting can be the most powerful way to transform our learners. That if we support them and give them a chance, it will engage them it will motivate them, it will challenge them. Um, but it also means that our teachers have to be stretched. So we embarked, why not? So this was the most challenging for our parents, both for them to understand why, find value in it, and the time commitment to come in. It was challenging for our teachers for exactly the same reasons, and it was challenging for our children. It was challenging, of course, for our most vulnerable learners because it was tough for them to set a goal that could be attained and was, was uh, even close to accessible. And it was even challenging for our most skilled learners because they just know what you're supposed to do. Tell me what I'll do and I will jump. And all of a sudden we're saying, no, tell us what you need to do. And that was scary for them. So we started a spiral of inquiry, inquiry around goal setting. And all of our questions focused on goal setting. We asked the four questions to our teachers who answered uh, the questions. We asked the four questions randomly selected students and we got lots of data. Some of our kids are really articulate and some need a lot of support. We asked our parents, I love this. We have a large school, I got four responses. It's true. And two of those responses said that these questions are stupid. All right. That was all the feedback I got. So surveys do not solicit the feedback that we want. <laughs> but in communication with parents, stopping them on the playground, stopping them on the stairs, catching them when they leave, I learned a bunch of things. I learned that they were very scared about uh, goal setting. What is rainbows and unicorns? What are you doing? It's just fluffy. In January, when we revisited the goals, they bought it. Oh my goodness, this is powerful. My kids can tell me what they're learning. They can show me where they need to go. And it also helps to demystify the core competencies because the kids are looking at their own core competencies. Do we have ways to go? Yes, we do. We've done a check-in on ways to maintain the goal setting because we know we can create the momentum and then all of a sudden we get busy. It's a challenge. We're learning on sharing those strategies. We're also looking at ways to make it simpler and less time uh, demanding. Our, we, we chewed a lot this year. <laughs> um, part of it was we asked for our teachers to meet with our kids. They met with the parents. The parents then shared it with the kids. Then we typed it out. We typed it and put it in the QM files. Is there a way that we can reduce this? I think so. So um, we're going to keep looking at this, but I, I know that we're on the right track. I know that we can get better at it. And it, Thank you for letting us have this opportunity to ask lots of questions. And if my one slide was up there, it was going to be a big question mark. So thank you very much. <laughs>